Good morning, it's that bloke on a motorbike. Got a uh, nice crisp day today. The weather forecast said there shouldn't be any rain at all, but looking over them mills straight in front of me there, it looks like uh, we might be getting a little bit of precipitation coming down shortly. But never mind, we're out for a ride, that's the main thing. So I'm just coming through Burley in Wharfdale. Uh, I'm going to head out for a cup of coffee, go up through Ilkley and then on towards Route 59 Cafe Well this section runs at side of the river just on the right hand side there and they've been having a heck of a lot of rain up in North Yorkshire and the river level is quite high Also got to watch out for these uh, little yellow boxes with the speed cameras on so it appears to be a much faster road, but it's actually only a uh, 40 mile an hour limit road, this. Oh, Kashmir is gone. Thought it must be a, an Indian restaurant. Right, so how do I get into this petrol station? Just up there. It's the one. Right, so I've got some petrol. Uh, Eleven pounds thirty-six. Um, how many miles have I done? Let's have a look. I've done one hundred and forty point two on eleven pounds thirty-six. So those are good at maths. Work that out for me as to what it is. Pence per mile, will you? Right. Go a bit further. Let's clear the pump. Think we'll do a bit of filter in here. Nice and steady while we've got these hatch markings. Gives me a little bit of separation going through. It's quite a long queue as well, this. getting the first little uh, spots of rain coming down ah look at that blue sky blue skies well when I just got that petrol I uh, had a look at the mileage on my bike I don't really take much notice of that, apart from servicing intervals. And uh, it's now got 14,170 something on it. So, give me a second, I'll push the button and tell you exactly how much it's got. And I bought it on the 1st of July 2022. And it has got 14,179 exactly. So, quite, uh, quite a decent bit of mileage. So, how's it been? Well, it, we're off-road for a couple of months, as uh, regulars will know, when there was an attempt at theft of her, and waiting for parts from Royal Enfield, which incidentally didn't turn up. Um, I had to use second-down spares for it. Uh, but how's she been generally? Well, absolutely brilliant. I love this bike to pieces. It's done everything that I've wanted it to do. It's never complained once. Never let me down. Touch wood, Ivy. Don't, don't start now. Uh, and uh, just been an absolutely fantastic bike. Now, she's not garaged. She lives outside under a cover and plenty of chains and locks and things. So ridden her through last winter, I ride her in all conditions. Um, so how's she held up? Well, the finish, 
better than I expected to be honest uh, there's some rust on the back of the uh, shock absorbers um, and there's a little tiny little bit of rust pitting which is coming in on the inside edge where the creases of the um, of the wheels thank you very much mate uh, and that's about it paintwork's held up I'm not one of these that fastidiously hey that's a big word isn't it that fastidiously uh, cleans the bike after it's been out every time I do try and keep on top of it but a bike's for riding really not for showroom condition uh, and the finish is quite good fuel wise it was averaging somewhere around about 7p a mile um, comfort absolutely superb I just can't can't fault it I can ride this bike all day long speed wise it's definitely not the best um, in fact it's it's anything but fast but it's not the type of bike you want apparently this bike was modeled on the 1954 design 350 uh, and if you ride it and expect to get something like the performance it had then then it exceeds it if you want to ride it and you want to be going around at ballistic speeds all the time and caning it into bends and high speed motorways and things well it's not the bike for you then you know ride the bike to what you feel the bike should be doing if you want a sports bike buy a sports bike you know if you want a uh, a tourer well you know it depends what you look at I'll tour on this no problem I've done the obligatory um, you know the, the bit where you do where you have these like fantasy rides uh, and I've planned some down through France and over at Pyrenees back up through other side of France and uh, would I do it absolutely I'd do it on this not a problem not an issue at all I'd take it anywhere so what's it cost me um, I don't know in money terms but what I've had what I've done to it is every 1500 miles it gets uh, oil change so I can work out how many of them I've done so I change the oil I change the filter I'm using mortal oil uh, which is what it had in when I picked it up I'm sticking to the same sort of oil so it's had the oil changes uh, it's had the service kit at 6,000 and the same service kit again at 12,000 so then I did the the tappets uh, change the spark plug air filter and all that sort of thing I've done all the servicing apart from the first one myself uh, it's just something I, I enjoy doing and it is very very easy on this bike I can do it with a standard tool kit and a pair of feeler gauges that's the beauty of it and it's one of the things that attracted me to her I put a set of tyres on um, just because they wore out I did not dislike the original tyres at all I thought they were quite good the thing was I couldn't get any if I could have got that same make of tyre the seat or seat or whatever they call it if I could have got that over here then I would have done but they weren't available so I've got a pair of Avon tyres on it which um, feel a little bit harder on the side walls uh, I've adjusted the tyre pressures so instead of running the standard Royal Enfield book pressures I'm using 24 front 28 rear and that seems to be the most comfortable for me um, the tread wear pattern seems to be good so there's no flat spots or anything coming on it it's not over inflated or under inflated uh, and I got the figures from 
the Avon website so that's all good I put a new chain on um, the other chain decided it had had enough it wasn't worn out but it was getting quite rusty and I cleaned it um, but I still wasn't happy with it there were getting to be a few tight spots and tight links on it so I bit the bullet and got one from Hitchcock's uh, it's not the dear D, 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 ID one it's the cheaper, cheaper one that they do on there they're about 75 quid something and I put that on that has been brilliant uh, I've adjusted that chain probably about four times in so I've done about 5,000 miles on it now and I use um, the white chain wax so I do regularly brush that off and then put the uh, chain wax over the top again just to keep it nice and supple and no rust on it so far excellent so my overall impressions on it I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of this bike I did a video before which said that uh, is this the best bike I've ever ridden and that was the BMW and at the time it was but overall I prefer this bike over the BMW I think the Royal Enfield has got it absolutely spot on with their bikes and the marketing uh, I don't think you can actually fault them there the only thing that I would say as you go through this beautiful tree lined road is the backup now it's not the dealers um, it's getting the spares I've spoken to a couple of dealers now who are waiting for parts issue which really they shouldn't be doing at this at, you know it, it's ridiculous really why should they be waiting for parts when they're selling all these bikes and bringing new models out constantly I think it's um, it's a bit off really I think what Real Enfield should do is before the severed ties with Moto GB I think they should have got the spare system sorted out first uh, and then once they got the spare system sorted out at that point I think they should have done it but there you go well, that was interesting for me going home the roads closed excellent So I'm just going up past Bolton Abbey now. Looks like that rain's really come down, doesn't it? Well, it's one of my favourite little coffee jaunts. The car park looks quite full, so carry on. Yeah, so back to Ivy. Um, I can't see me ever getting rid of it, as I've already said. I think she's a superb bike does everything that I wanted to do and I actually love it a bit I can get on her and ride her you never have any issues at all so would I change anything would I alter things well at the moment she's running completely stock original apart from the chain and the tyres I resisted putting the uh, bigger breathing uh, air filter and cover on I'm not too sure whether I will get on with the increased induction noise and she does everything I want so you know that's a lot of petrol is that for buying those same with the exhaust um, I've left that as it is that's standard I like the sound of it a lot of people have said they like the sound of it so that's good by me so everything at the moment, oh lovely bike, the old BMW R80 RT. Uh, so yeah, she's a, a lovely bike, 
everything's stock, not going to change anything, not drastically anyway. Could it be better? Yeah, a few areas could be a little bit better. The brakes are the main one. Uh, they're adequate, but that's about it. They could do with being just a little bit better. Now, you've got to be careful with that one because you don't want your brakes overriding your tyres. So, overall, yes, they're okay, but on the tour riding that I've done, uh, particularly on steep descents, yes, they could be a little bit better. Um, just to just to retard you back a bit going down hills, but you know they're not bad. Value for money wise. You can't beat it. When I bought this £4,250, she's now doing 14,000 miles, other than the uh, damage that was done when they tried to steal her. All I've done is service items. So I am extremely happy with this bike. So if you're listening to this, Ive, Look like Ivy, are you listening? Yeah, okay, right. I've got no plans to get rid of you anytime. Not even anytime soon, just anytime. Okay. So don't start playing up now. I've only got another few hundred miles and you can have another oil change. How's that for you? Heh, I might even do it early. If you're good. So let's get back to uh, back to his ride. I think you've seen me ride on here before. I think I came up here uh, this way when I went to Lakes on the BM way back in god that was May last year where's time go so I'm almost down now at the 59 it's not far around this bend I remember right Some bikes there, she's open. Good. Right, folks, I'm going to go get a cuppa. So, thanks for joining me on this uh, bit of a ride out. I hope you've enjoyed it as usual. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. If you haven't, if you could consider it, leave me a comment, give it a like, share it with somebody, do what you want with it. If you're out on your bikes, try and keep warm, keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down, and I'll see you out on the road. So bye for now, folks. Bye.